Alrighty friends, the Jeep Grand Cherokee is one of the greatest vehicles ever made. The WJ is one of the best versions of the Grand Cherokee ever made. This is common knowledge. What is also common knowledge is that the WJ has some issues with the taillights, specifically the way they affixed the bulbs inside the housings. Uh, over time, they rattle loose, they break, they melt, uh, and what you end up with is what I have. I got one out of six bulbs energizing when it should. Um, I have a video previously showing you how to fix this for zero dollars. So I will link that up top. I'll put it in the description. Zero dollar fix. You just got to pull this apart and jimmy jam on the tabs a little bit and it works about nine times out of ten. But I found out recently that Dorman actually makes a replacement part for the PCB, the, uh, the circuit board, inside these lights uh, and it does the same thing but in a more permanent way. The temporary fix has a tendency to last for a bit. Uh, and then give out on you, which is what I've got. I fixed this four times on this Jeep. I want to see if these Dorman PCBs that were not too expensive, I think they were $21 a piece, two sides with shipping, about 50 bucks. I don't know. It's not not usually the kind of fix I go for, but uh, I'm really tired of getting pulled over for having no taillights. So <laughs> let's pull these taillights out, go inside the garage, and we'll take a look at this Dorman part, try to figure out, is it worth the 21 bucks, or should we just stick to picking up new ones in the junkyard and fixing yours by bending the taps. Alrighty friends, crash course in WJ taillight anatomy and removal. You have this black piece of plastic held on by two Phillips head fasteners. You take those two fasteners out and then you just sort of pop them right back here because there's a um, pressure detent clip right there. See this little guy right there? This ball fits into a um, socket there. So you just take the fasteners out, pop it back there. Once you've done that, there is a clip back here with one of your ubiquitous Chrysler red um, safety tabs, which you will need to pop out of the way, and then you can remove this entire harness, and then you have your taillight free. And there she is, your taillight housing proper. If you spin her over, you can see this right here is the unit we're going to be replacing. And the replacement unit in question is right here. Dorman part 923-036. I don't remember exactly where I got this. It wasn't Rock Auto, I don't think. Um, I will put a link. I'll go back in my email. You can kind of see where we're going with this whole thing. Now, let's see how hard it is to pop off this old board. Because it looks like, looking at the new board, it's just one, two, three, four tabs. It's probably got some kind of O-ring gasket in there to keep water out, but it shouldn't be too hard to pull off. I'm hoping there's no adhesive. I don't know, I've never, I've never pulled these off, never had occasion to, never thought about it, to be honest with you. I always said you had to go in the junkyard and just buy a whole new housing. I wonder if you could have just bought this board. Maybe it would have been a little less expensive if your housing was fine. I guess I don't really have to care about breaking this, but, oh, well, I'm starting to think there may be adhesive. So I'm actually just gonna break these old tabs because. It. Not a board we're going to use again. It's totally foobar on the inside. Yeah, shoot. I was hoping it was a gasket, but this entire thing is glued on. So I think what we'll do is this. Let's take out these pods. These are what hold your light bulbs in. Okay. And they, uh, they'll only go in one way. Um, now, what we're looking at here is the way we transfer electricity through from the Jeep, through this plug, through this PCB, to these tabs, these tabs line up with these tabs on these little sockets, and that goes into your bulb. This bulb actually looks like it might be burned out. No, maybe not. Um, what happens is over time, either these little tabs break, or these tabs, they actually, they must get hot, and then they sink into the plastic. Now, my thought process is they probably get hot, when the connections get dirty and they start creating excessive resistance. It's my thought process anyway. I don't know if that's correct. Uh, the one that's melted on mine, I think, is up here. This one right here. It, so it got so hot that it's actually sunk down in the plastic below the level where it can make contact. It looks like this is the one that was getting hot, but it actually took this one out too. This one's now sunk down below. What you can do is try to heat this plastic up again, lift them up, uh, I've had some luck bending these tabs at a more extreme angle, but today we're going to figure out how do we get this whole thing off so that we can um, replace it. It is all glue, 
bummer. I'll bet it's a little bit like WJ headlights. You can put them in the oven to uh, to split the lens off if you wanted to paint the inner housings. I did that once many, many years ago. When I was young enough that I had time for ridiculous crap like painting the inside of headlight housings. Nice. So what I did was I got a screw screwdriver going along the one edge you can access. You can't access this edge anywhere along here because it's got other plastic behind it except right here. So I got a screwdriver, I banged it in there and get behind it and start prying it up. And I think the way we're going to do this is just work our way around. Hopefully without stabbing ourselves in the wrist with a uh, screwdriver. Because it is, I mean, it is adhesive going all the way around, so just gotta overcome that adhesive. I'm trying to pry it open and then cut the glue. That's actually working pretty well. Oh. Okay, cool. We didn't break it. I mean, I know it's not done yet, but I thought for sure that was going to break it. All right. I was going to try to study this a little more on the inside, but, well, she came out a little sideways. So so the old adhesive is, is still sticky and pliable enough that I think it'll work as a gasket. I guess what we'll do is fill her up with RTV. I guess RTV is the way to go. Oh, you know what I have? I have some of this stuff for the boat. Uh, UV resistant sealant. Yeah, this is the stuff. This is the guy. Cool. Cool. I use this for when I put, uh, whatever. You don't care. You guys have proved that you do not care about boats. That's fine. I'll stop trying to make y'all care about boats. Alrighty, friends, I'm just trying to straighten it up a little with my hands here. If you're not a mongoloid like me, maybe you can just do it without uh, making a giant mess, but well, that's how I roll. And then, I mean, there's really not a lot to it here. Let's, uh, one snap, two snap, and opposite sides there, the middles, snap. snap I guess I'm gonna clean up any uh, squirting out silicone here this will also kind of push it into any voids oh my goodness I put this on upside down what an idiot gotta pop this off real quick don't I <laughs> Christmas life is harder and harder if you're stupid there we go here's a pro tip for you the holes should line up when you're done there you go friends let's get this thing in the Jeep and see if it works Alrighty, friends, that's all we have for it on this one. If you are not into the down and dirty, it's only temporary, if it works type fixes, and I'm into, uh, this is probably the answer for you. Because what you're essentially doing is you're taking your existing housing, which probably there's nothing wrong with, and you're just putting a new PCB on the back. Pretty excellent. Um, fitment worked out well. Uh, I didn't have any issues at all. The hardest part was getting the old one off, but um, I think we've proven that both sides are strong enough that you can really just give it to her, man. Get in there and bear paw it, you know what I mean? So, Dorman part number 923036. I would recommend it, man. If you're a WJer and you're a lifetime WJer like I am, and you're going to be trying to keep these things on the road for the next, I don't know, I better have a WJ on the driveway as long as I'm drawing breath on this planet. That's all I know. And stuff like this makes that possible. So, Dorman, thank you.
Not everything y'all do is 10 out of 10, but this is 10 out of 10. Leave me that comment down in the squat boxes. Love to hear about your WJ. Uh, love to hear what you've been doing to fix that issue. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Maybe even go check out our website, monkeywithatoolbox.com. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.